Hello everybody and let's get right into it. In this video, we will take a look at how to align decimal amounts in Microsoft Word. First, let's look at the way most people try to align their decimals. Let's see if this sounds familiar. People will type the item, then press the spacebar a bunch of times, then type in the decimal amount, press enter, then they'll go to the next line, try the same thing again, only to realize the decimals don't align. Then they try to do a bunch of deleting and backspacing in an attempt to align everything. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's rewind and try that again and look at how the decimal tabs can help. So here's the key in all this. There is a specific pattern you must use in order to get everything to cooperate. And going one step further, do not be concerned about what your screen looks like because we'll fix it later. So the pattern is you type your item, then press your tab key one time, then type your decimal amount, press enter, and then repeat the pattern until you're complete. So by way of example, let's say you decide to go on a shopping spree and you want to create a list of what you purchased and the cost of each item. And just for fun, let's pretend that we purchased a bunch of electronic items. To begin, we'll type our first item, then press tab once, type our dollar amount, then press enter, and then do the same thing again. Item, tab, dollar amount, enter. We'll keep repeating that pattern until we're done typing the list. Next, let's apply our decimal tabs. We'll start off by selecting our list, then go up and click this icon. From here, we'll click the tab button. And now at this point, all we have to do is type in our tab stop position. And in this case, we'll go with 2.5. Next, we'll click where it says decimal tab, then click OK. And if things cooperate, our list should be nice and neat. Moving on, we can take this one step further by adding in a leader tab. A leader tab is just the dots that connect the item to the dollar amount. So we'll select our list, then go up here and click on this icon, then click the tab button again. And right down here is the leader tab section. So we'll click number two, then click OK, and voila, instant leader tab. How cool is that? Now, if we want to see the tab stops, you want to make sure that your ruler is turned on. You can do that by clicking on the View tab, then checking the box where it says Ruler. If you want to modify the tabs, you have a couple choices. The first method is to select your list, and then you can go up here onto the ruler and click and drag the tab stop itself to readjust where your decimals live. If you don't like that method, after your list is selected, you can go up and click on this icon here, then click the Tabs button. You want to make sure you clear the existing tab stop first, then type in a new one, Click OK, and there you have it. And as always, if this video has helped you out, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.